Bruno Gimaraes. Been seeing him linked to moves damn near this whole season. Like, I, I think the writing's on the wall, right? He probably is going to end up leaving Newcastle this summer. And he's been linked with moves to Arsenal, Man City, also PSG very heavily. And I think City is where he probably ends up going. And I rate Bruno Gimaraes. I think that he's a very good midfielder. And I think he's going to possibly leave Newcastle depending on what they do this summer. Look, I think Newcastle have a very bright future. But they have to start making some moves. They got to start bringing in some big-name players. I know last summer they signed Sandro Tonali, and he only didn't play this season because this guy was gambling and they caught him betting on matches. But I think they have to do more, right? They made Champions League this season, and they didn't really impress, right? Obviously, nobody really had high expectations for them because them making the Champions League was just impressive in, in itself. But they've kind of fallen off this season, right? They started off really bad. They were really low on the table. And then the second half of the season, they've picked it up. They're probably going to be in the Conference League next season. That should be a tournament that they can win. But I need their owners to start making some big moves. Because if not, you're going to risk losing some of your best players to bigger teams. And I think he has a release clause of like $100 million. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's probably how much it's going to cost to sign him regardless. And when I look at both Arsenal and City, I think Arsenal need him more. Or actually, no, I wouldn't even say that. I think they can both, you know, use him around the same because they both need holding midfielders, right? Like, City, I think they're going to be the favorites to get him. And they have um, Rodri, right? Rodri has been cooking for them, arguably one of the best players in, in the world. But they don't really have anybody next to Rodri that I feel comfortable with, right? Like, what, Kovacic, Nunez, guys like that, they're scrubs. I think if you put Bruno Gimaraes in a double pivot next to Rodri, oh my goodness. And on top of that, them doing the dirty work for Kevin De Bruyne would be huge for them. And this City team, to me, isn't that good. This season, they've barely got over the line, right? Like. They, they usually dominate, but it's just not the best version of them that I've seen, right? Like, they went last season from having Gundo, Mares, all those guys leave, and they didn't really recruit that well. I mean, signing Kovacic, Matias Nunez, Jeremy Ducku, like, these aren't really good players. Like, they're decent, but it's nobody that I think makes them better. I think City got worse heading into this season, and they still found a way to win the league because they're just inevitable. But... You go bring in a Bruno Gimaraes, that would be a fantastic partner to have next to Rodri. Because we know Kevin De Bruyne, Erling Holland, I always say it. When those guys are on the pitch, if it doesn't have to do with the goal or an assist, they might as well not be there. It's like you're playing with 10 or 9 men. Because everybody else has to do extra work because they don't run. They don't press. They don't track back like that. Bruno Gimaraes and Rodri would be very good at covering a lot of that space that Kevin De Bruyne's not going to occupy if they don't have the ball, which is not that often because City usually dominate possession. So they're able to get away with it because Pep's system is so good and the players that he have are so good that it covers up a lot of the deficiencies that would be exposed in other teams, per se. And I just think City would be willing to go out there and spend the money, right? Like, they already lost out to Declan Rice um, from Arsenal last season. I don't think that they're going to let that happen again. Now, as far as Arsenal are concerned, I can't see them going out there two summers in a row and dropping $100 million on another holding midfielder, even though they need him. I just cannot see that happening. And I think if Arsenal really do want to close the gap on City, if they really do want to enter next season with people saying, yo, Arsenal, their summer business was fantastic. They should be the team that, that should be the ones to beat you got to go sign Bruno Gimmer Rice, right? Like, that would be a statement signing to put him next to Declan Rice in that midfield and then have them, um, you know, again, same thing like with Man City, having them do the dirty work, right, where you're going to let Odegaard have a bit more freedom to just free roam and be able to pick up the ball and make things happen creativity-wise. Um, but again, I just cannot see them doing it back-to-back -back summers. And they also need a striker. I think striker is where Arthur are going to possibly spend big money on. Now, if I was them, I'd go get Ivan Tony, But... 
they're being linked to all these foreign players like uh what's the guy's name uh Fitor uh Gajorkares. I think he plays for like sporting or something they're also being linked with the move to like Benjamin Sesco, all these high profile um, targets that have the fancy names and the really big release clauses. But if I was them, I'd go out there and sign Ivan Tony because he should only cost about 40 to 50 M's. He only has 12 months left on his deal. And then if you're able to get Ivan Tony for about 50 million, maybe even 55, then you can go out and spend a hundred M's on Bruno Gimaraish. That would let me know that Arsenal, are actually being serious and they're going to expect because the expectations has to be trophies if you don't expect arsenal because to me arteta needs to be under a lot of pressure next season he's only won an fa cup and that was with unai emery squad so now the question is how much longer should we have to wait for you to deliver us the league i think that he's done good he's done well to get arsenal to where they are right now but there comes a point in time where trophies need to be demanded. And I would have sacked Arteta after last season, after he bottled that eight-point lead. And everybody makes it seem like, oh, my gosh, you can't beat Pep. You can't beat Man City. You only play them twice. And Arsenal didn't lose to them this season. But where they lost the league was getting slapped up against Aston Villa at home, dropping points against Fulham. See, games like that cost Arsenal the league. If they would have just taken care of business, they should have won it this year. They should have won it last year. But Bruno Gimaraes would be an excellent signing for them. And even though I said I thought Man City might need him more, no, I actually switched my mind. I, I changed it mid-thought process. Arsenal need Bruno Gimaraes more than what Man City do because Man City have won the league four times in a row, Champions League, FA Cup, Club World Cup. They're chilling. If City don't win anything next season, it'll be surprising. But nobody's going to really, well, actually, well, the fans might be pissed off. But I think there, there's more pressure on Arsenal to finally get over the hump because it's getting to that point now. Or else you're going to end up being like what Liverpool were, just the bridesmaid. But you weren't the bride, if that makes sense. Like you weren't the main attraction. You're close, but you're just not that, you know? So. That's what I'll say. But Bruno Gimaraes would be a good signing for any team that gets him. I think the PSG interest in him has cooled off as well. So that's definitely one to keep your eye out for.